Hi guys, good morning and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, and in today's video, I will be discussing what I thought of the latest and greatest episode of Evil thus far. Uh, seriously, this one I might have to rewatch because I enjoyed it so much. It was a great, scary, creature-centered episode with some magnificent, hilarious trolling from Leland and also address very real uh, social issues that our country continues to face to this day. Now, before I begin, of course, please be warned, like all of my episode reviews, if you're not caught up on evil by the first uh, three episodes of this season or just today's episode, the newest episode, you do not want to keep watching or listening as I will be going into spoilers. That being said, you have been warned. Let's get right back into it. Oh, God, this episode is everything that I love about this show. It had you know, a scary uh, ghost or creature in it that terrified our characters. Our characters were fate put in a perilous situation, or at least Ben was. And uh, it also addressed very real life issues that face everyone, not only the Catholic Church, but everyone, which was issues of race and above all racism. And it just demonstrated that even in a TV show, when a character or somebody, usually a person of color, tries to bring up a race or racism, the white institution, whatever it may be, will always be like, well, let's not talk about that because it can be a little divisive. And of course, the lesson or the moral is you're not going to fix a problem by not talking about it, you know. And I think this past year, especially, you know, in light of the George Floyd controversial killing and all the other marches and protests that have happened in the Black Lives Matter movement. I mean, none of this really is new for the community of the people of color. They've all had to endure this shit for God knows how long. But it was just an unfortunate reminder that racism is very much alive and well and exists. And uh, as a country, we need to fix and uh, hit and address it. Like all of us, not just people of color, but whitey too. So anyway, I might be getting off track here. But the point is, is that I love that they somewhat addressed that in this episode. And I also love that they allowed David to kind of cut loose on somebody who was trolling him. And I think the only reason why he hasn't physically assaulted Leland every time he's been with them, it's because it's when he's been in the capacity of being a priest in training. And it would be unprofessional of him to do a, a strike someone who's seeking help. And it's always been within the sanctuary of the church or whatever building that they operate out of. At that party, he was a private citizen, just a regular guy. And he was being egged on by another private citizen and just quickly... <laughs> bopped him because I was pretty insulting and disrespectful what he was saying to him. Of course, so was all the shit that Leland was saying by right? trying to make him feel marginalized and isolated by bringing up uh, the Catholic uh, Church's uh, treatment of race and regard for racism and whatnot. That was pretty low too. But what that guy said to him was also pretty disrespectful. Although I gotta say, I started laughing like crazy once I saw Leland who was eating a bowl of popcorn during David's little sermon, which was just hilarious to me. And then he comes up and gives a half-assed message of support or whatever. And then he chuckles as he walks away. God, that was funny. I love Michael Emerson in this role. <laughs> um, but I also loved uh, getting back to the scarier part of the episode. You know, they took... I don't know if this is a real game on the internet or if it's just something the writers came up with, but it was believable enough to make it super scary. I love that the girls got a lot of screen time in this episode with their mother. It's always fun and sweet to watch them interact with their mom and her work whenever she's working on a case like this. And I also love that Ben's personal demon got a lot more screen time in this. I knew that he'd be saved uh, before the episode ran out, or at least I hoped he would be. Uh, now they just have the unpleasant task of finding out a way to give a logical explanation to the death of that poor boy and the girl whose bodies were found down there in the netherworld, so covered with cockroaches. Ugh. Great episode, though. You know, it tackled social issues. It was funny with Leland's nasty evilness, and it had a great scary half cut in half ghost monster thing and or put our characters in peril. This episode, in my opinion, is what makes the show so great. When we get stories like this one, when we get stories and adventures just like this, and it's just so damn entertaining and captivating because not only do they reel you, reel you in with like the charm and the appeal of the characters, but also the scary situations they throw them in while simultaneously making commentary on very real life issues that continue to impact our country every single day. So well done, Evil. 
excellent work. This was a great episode, and I can't wait to rewatch it, which I'll probably do once I upload this. All right, guys, thanks for watching uh, my episode review of uh, Evil. I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I did. What did you think of this episode? I'd love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below in the comments section. Thank you so much for watching. Have an awesome rest of your weekend. If I don't see you, new episodes of Evils drop every Sunday on Paramount+. Plus. Have a good one, everybody. Stay cool and safe out there. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.